Guys, how are you? Good to see you. I brought my little secret stash this morning. Sometimes, I don't know about you, but sometimes in church, I just get a bit hungry and I think, oh, especially during the sermon, oh, I might have something to eat. Hey? Gary just said cheap shot. Cheap shot? Oh, yeah, but when you're the wife, you can have as many cheap shots as you like. Actually, I probably shouldn't eat chips because he'll know because he'll hear it, won't he? So do you think maybe I shouldn't eat chips? Yes. What do you think? Yes, yeah, stuck on the lollies. Oh, uh -huh. I haven't got any lollies. Anybody got any lollies? Oh, you have. So I've got a bit of stuff in here. I've got some chips. I pinched some of Gary's almonds. But... Now that I look around, I think I should probably share it. Does anybody want some of my chips and nuts? Oh, I haven't got enough. Like, you could probably have a little bite. I would give you half an almond. Would that do? You don't want half an almond? I, I would take the first bite. You could have the second bite. Oh, COVID. Oh, I can't do that. Sorry. So I haven't got enough in here. Oh, put it away. I'll just put it away. I just put it away. Okay. Kind of reminds me about a story in the Bible that goes a little bit like this. I might make up bits and pieces as I go, but I'll do my best. So one day, Jesus and the disciples had been super busy, and they'd been teaching and healing and doing all sorts of stuff. And you know what? They were just really tired. So they got in a boat and they went across the lake and they thought they'd be able to have a rest when they got to the other side of the lake. Do you know what happened? You know what happened? Do you think they got to have a rest? There were lots of people. They heard that Jesus was going to be there. And he looked at the people and he loved them. And so he sat down on the grass and he taught them and he did all sorts of wonderful things, even though he was really tired. And it was getting late. And the disciples said to him, there's lots of people here. Like the Bible says, there were 5,000 men. So when you add in the women and the kids, there's a lot more than 5,000 people there. There was a huge crowd. And the disciples are going, Jesus, it's getting really late. We need to feed these people or they need to go away and get some food. And Jesus said, well, you feed them. <gasps> what am I going to feed them with? Where am I going to get food to feed this many people? I mean, I didn't have enough there to share with everybody here. And, like, I've got these snacks, but there's nothing I can do to make that much food feed everybody here and then there was a little boy in the crowd and he had five pieces of bread and two fish you know the story don't you and so the disciples gave that to Jesus and they said well here you go like this is what we've got and so Jesus blessed that food and he said to the disciples go and give it to them well I would have thought he was a bit crazy, really, thinking that that much food would feed that many people. Don't you think that's a bit crazy? I think it's a bit crazy. But there's nothing I can do to make these snacks feed this many people. But all those people were filled with food. They had as much as they needed. But wait, there's more. There were 12 baskets of leftovers from five pieces of bread and two fish fed a huge crowd with 12 baskets of leftovers. That's amazing. I can't do that. Indy, you can't do that. No, oh, Jamie, you can't do that. Not even mum and dad can do that. Not even him over there can do that. But Jesus could do it. And you know, whatever we've got, we've got a little bit of time, we have got a little bit of love to give, all of those things. We give them to God and he turns what we've got into amazing things. Our little bit of love could make a lot of difference in a person's life. So whatever you've got, you give it to God and he'll bless us. 
Okay, should we pray? Jesus, thank you that there was that little boy in the crowd that gave his food that you were able to bless and give back to the people. Jesus, we thank you that you are the bread of life. That while you might not give us bread, you give us yourself. Father, we thank you that Jesus came for us, that we may have eternal life because he is our bread of life. Amen.